Hi, this is Brie Kuyat, and for my primary source research project, I have decided to um, analyze um, information, primary sources that are local. Um, this here is a picture of Henry Coe Park, and I've found out that um, Henry Coe and his brothers actually bought land the Henry Coe land in 1880 and Seda Coe, Henry Coe's daughter, um, donated the ranch um, in 1953 to the Santa Clara County Parks so that we can enjoy it um, as a park and it doesn't get used for anything else. Um, at that time it was used for cattle ranching and so I thought I could look up Henry Coe and his family and how he got the land and what the land was used for and what it was like to live on the land. And Seda Co actually um, wrote about what it was like living on the ranch and, and things like that. So I went to the Morgan Hill Library and I got a lot of information um, in their local history um, section. And uh, let's see, I found these newspapers from 1953, the year that Seda um, donated Henry Co. Park. And this is another news article from 1953. And that's Henry Co. on the top left. And those are pictures of his ranch. And that's the second part of the article. This is a book um, that I was going to use as like a secondary source maybe. Um, it's by Teddy Goodrich, who's actually still alive. She was a history teacher from Gilroy High and got a master's degree at San Jose State and her thesis was on Henry Coe and the Indians and things so um, I've been in contact with her and um, I could, I'm probably going to interview her and see what other information she has so that's kind of exciting. This book is kind of fun it's uh, Stories of Santa Clara Valley Pioneers <laughs> and it's a uh, a lot of the first people who came to Morgan Hill and Gilroy and San Martin and uh, San Jose and there's pictures and maps of all the ranches and stuff so it's kind of neat. Um, I got this to use as a secondary source um, to see uh, what life was like in the Bay Area at this time and it, um, the text covers some of the people and events in the Morgan Hill area between 1840 and 1940. And there's pictures and lots of articles about um, the first pioneers of around this time. Oh, this is a document I found uh, at the Morgan Hill Library. I had to make copies of a lot of the stuff because I couldn't check out the documents and the newspaper articles. Um, this is actually a part of a writing that Seda wrote. Um, it's really about her, but she doesn't say it's about her when she's writing it so it's pretty interesting um, I'm also thinking about doing my primary source project on um, Gilroy Hot Springs which is actually part of Henry Co. Park now and Gilroy Hot Springs is um, listed on the National Historical Places and it was used um, as a hotel like a high-end hotel in Gilroy in the late 1850s after World War II um, people went there, a lot of Japanese people who lost they were forced out of their homes the Japanese people went there and they, um, they did landscaping and lived there and it was beautiful and people would go there and have mud baths and facials and um, it was kind of a high-end hotel and there's a lot of information about that too so I'm going to go to the Gilroy Historical Museum and make copies. They have archives there that you can make copies of and so I hope to find more primary research on that as well and kind of connect the two. So um, it's pretty exciting. I feel like a historian. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, it's been so it's been fun so far researching the local history. So um, thank you.